welcome to our AZ 900 exam preparation series in this video we will walk you through some essential practice question to help you ease the Microsoft Azure fundamental exam whether you are new to cloud computing or looking to validate your fundamental knowledge of Azure this video is designed to boost your confidence and enhance your understanding in this question set we will cover the question that is related to monthly uptime percentage cost high availability types of support plan and what is guaranteed in azure sla make sure you have a pen and paper handy to take notes and don't forget to pause the video if you need more time to think about a question by the end of this video you will have a clear picture of what to expect in the exam and be on one step closer to achieving your certification goals also you can check other videos which is already uploaded in the channel let's start the question says how should you calculate the monthly uptime percentage to answer select the appropriate options in the answer area and so the correct answer would be the C C and A that is maximum available minutes divide minus downtime in minutes that is divided by maximum available minutes into 100 and this will give you the percentage so the next question here you have to choose yes or no option first by creating additional resource groups in an azure subscription additional cost are incurred no that is not correct by copying a several gigabytes of data to Azure from an on-prem network over a VM additional data transfer cost are incurred no that is not correct by copying a several GB of data from Azure to an on-prem network over a VPM additional data transfer cost are incurred yes that is correct So and the explanation are resource groups are logical containers for Azure resources you do not pay for resource group and for the second data ingress over a VPN is a data coming into Azure over the VPN you are not charged data transfer cost for data ingress data egress over a VPN is data going out of Azure over the VPN you are charged for the data egress now for the next question this is also a series of question and the question says you plan to deploy several azure virtual machines you need to ensure that the services running on the virtual machines are available if a single data center fails solution you deploy the virtual machines to two or more resource group does this meet the goal so here the requirement is that your virtual machine should be available if a single data center fails and by creating two resource group it will not meet the requirement so for this question the correct answer is no and so the next question in which azure support plans can you open a new support request and the options are premier and professional direct only premier professional direct and standard only premier professional direct standard and developer only premier professional direct standard developer and basics the correct options is premier professional direct standard developer and basics now the next one your company has an azure subscription that contains the following unused resources 20 user accounts, 5 groups in Azure AD, 10 public IP addresses, 10 network interface. You need to reduce the Azure cost for the company. You remove the unused group. Does this meet the goal? No. By removing unused group, you will not save the cost. So the correct answer is no. The next one is what is guaranteed in and Azure service label agreement and the options are uptime feature availability bandwidth and performance so the correct answer is feature availability now next one is 
so this is also a series of question your company plans to purchase azure the company support policy states that the azure environment must provide an option to access support engineer by phone or email you need to recommend which support plan meets the support policy requirement solution recommend a basic support plan does this meet the goal so here the requirement is that you will get the support via phone or email and in the basic support plan this is not covered so for this question the answer would be no and the next one is uh, this is also the same question but the recommendation here is that you can you have to use a, a standard support plan yes in the standard support plan you will get the support via phone or email so for this question the answer would correct answer is yes the standard professional direct and the premier support plans have technical support for engineers via email and phone and the next question so this is also the same question um, but the recommendation here is given that it will use a premier support plan so in this scenario also the answer will be yes because in premier and in the standard we all we get the support via phone or email now moving to the next one so in this question also you have to choose yes or no and the first one is most azure services are introduced in private preview before being introduced in public preview and then in general availability yes that is correct so the services first will introduce in a private preview then it will go to the public preview and then in general availability now second one azure services in public preview can be managed only by using the azure cli no that is not correct that and the third one is the cost of an azure services in private preview decrease when the services become generally available no that is not correct so for uh, the correct answer is yes no no